Health Tonight, we reported earlier this week that low levels of vitamin D may be related to the progression of multiple sclerosis. Is that a reason to take supplements or just get out in the sun a little bit more? Maybe both. News for medical expert Dr. Peter Ostro is here to explain. Dr. Ostro? You know, we've known for decades that multiple sclerosis is more prevalent in places that get less sunshine. So there have been many studies trying to connect MS to the sunshine vitamin, and there is a connection. Western New York has one of the highest rates of MS in the world. We also get less sunshine because we stay indoors in the cold weather. What's the relationship? Could it be low vitamin D? Just by the low level of vitamins D, you are not going to be uh, able to explain the disease because why people who have low levels of vitamin D do not necessarily develop multiple sclerosis. So there is probably something else needed uh, to, to develop the disease. Dr. Zavadnov is head of the Buffalo Neuroimaging Analysis Center, part of the Jacobs Neurological Institute at Buffalo General Hospital. He's been involved in several studies of vitamin D and sunshine in MS. On this scan, you can see the cavities called ventricles inside the normal brain. In MS, those cavities enlarge because the brain shrinks. Here you see the lesions of MS, these white areas in the brain. As the disease progresses, they enlarge and become more numerous. At the Neuroimaging Analysis Center, they're identified and measured. Low vitamin D levels are related to the progression. The vitamin D levels uh, over the first two years in the disease may be predictive of more disease progression, both in terms of MRI and uh, uh, clinical activity. But he and his colleagues have discovered that sunshine is related too. This graph shows the relationship of brain size to sun exposure. Those who had the least sun exposure shown on the left had a greater decrease in brain size. And that was also true for people who didn't have MS. So the message would be get exposed as much as you can to, to the sun in the, in the summer so, time. Now the message might also be if you have low vitamin D, bring it up to normal. Okay. Many of us in Western New York do have low vitamin D. That doesn't cause MS, okay? But there's considerable evidence now that if you already have MS, inadequate levels of vitamin D might make it worse. Well, you know, and we're so far north and it's so cloudy and gray in the winter time. Should we all just be taking vitamin D? No, we shouldn't just go ahead and take vitamin D. You really should get it measured first. If your levels are normal, Adding more really won't do you any good, and it might even be harmful. So okay. just like deciding to take any other medicine, find out first whether you really need it. And if you need it, take it. Take it. All right, good advice. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Ostro.